Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Tell all your friends. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? <gasps> cool art market's back! Yeah! We finally are moved into our house. We're obviously still renovating. As you can see, I don't have any kitchen cabinets, um, but we're back. And I just went to Goodwill for the first time in a while and scored, um, at least I think I did. You guys be the judge. Leave a comment down below after I show you my haul. So the first items I got, my daughter's showcasing for you guys right now. There's some Nike shocks. And they were only $2.99. They only charged me the kid's price for them. Um, and we all know from Harry Tornado, shocks are a bolo. So I was really excited to see those. My dog is making it very hard to show this video. Porter. What are you doing? Oh, okay. thank you. All right, move. Porter. So I also grabbed these nike air jordan classics i think they're called i can't remember i looked them up when i was in the store and in great condition they sell for like 175 dollars these ones aren't in stellar condition they've got pretty good soles still and i should be able to clean them with you know some erasing and all that but they've got some wear right there on both sides so I don't know. We'll see how much they go for. Um, I'm sure more than I paid for them because surprisingly, whoever was pricing today was not pricing up. They were only $5.99. Usually Air Jordans are like $15 to $20. I also grabbed this little lady. I forgot what her name is, but I'll pop her up in the corner. Some items of this person sell insane. Um, I don't know if this doll does. So I guess Tegan's gonna play with her right now. She was only 99 cents, so I figured it was worth taking the risk. I also picked up these Vans. I always pick up the high top suede Vans when I can, just because they do sell well for me. Um, these ones are in super clean condition, and again, we're only $5.99. Then I also found some Foot Joys. What? It was a really great day. Um, they're not the like super sought after brand, but these ones do sell for like $30, $40. And these ones are in pretty great condition. I just need to clean them up a little bit. They're a little dirty. Let's see. She's still very busy tying her shoe. What else? What else? I also got these. When I picked them up on the shelf, I'm like, I'm not going to get them unless they're worth more than $50. And I really didn't think they were going to be because, I mean, they just really don't look that great. However, after I looked them up, I realized they're like 50 to $80 shoes. So of course I grabbed those. I also saw these little boots, paddock boots, and I had never heard of the brand before. It's called Lake Ridge. Um, and they were only $2.99. Again, they were not priced up. And these shoes sell for like $40 to $80. I think they sell for more if it's an adult size. These are obviously children's, but they're in really great condition. So had to get them. And then I found these. Again, not priced up at all. They were only $5.99 and they just looked really well made. So I looked on the inside and it says they're made in Italy. So of course I had to look up the brand. Again, another one I've never heard of. It's Pantofola Dioro. I probably butchered that, but if y'all know this brand, let me know. It's definitely a bolo. I'm definitely gonna pick it up from now on. Um, these boots, I found a pair that sold brand new for $200, but a lot of their shoes were selling for over 100 and I only paid $5.99, so I thought that was worth it. The last pair of shoes I bought, it was definitely a shoe day, um, were these tiny little cute vans. I really don't know if they're worth much, but again, they were only $2.99 and vans do sell well for me. So I grabbed them. They're in really clean condition, especially for a little baby running around in them. So I had to grab it. The last item I bought for resale is this Bravel 
miniature pie maker. I already have one, um, but again, it was only $2.99 and they should each sell for about $40 when they sell. I did also grab this fun little stroller for Tegan so that now whenever we go to Goodwill, she doesn't have to complain and want to be held the whole time. She can push her own cart. So I will keep you guys posted on how everything sells. Look at that cool baby. You have it on the wrong foot. Hi. Help. Help? Yeah, help. I think these are too small for you. Stay cool. Two. Quick update for that video. I filmed it earlier this week and of course life got busy again so I haven't posted it yet so I can give you guys an update. Um, those shocks that we bought for I think it was $2.99? I don't remember. I think they charged me the kids price. $2.99. We sold for a profit of $50. So again, shocks are a bolo. Even if they're small, even if they're kids brands, pick them up. They're bolos. They will make you money and they'll probably sell really quick because I sold them within a couple days of posting. Um, and then those bands as well, I also um, just sold those. I don't think I made nearly that much profit on them, but let me check. I made $13.45 on them. So still not bad, especially since I only picked them up because I thought they were cool. Um, it's good to make a profit no matter what. And yeah, I think that's all that's sold from that haul so far. But shocks are a bolo. Vans usually go well as well. Go good as well. Y'all know what I mean. Um, yeah. As you can see, my death pile is not getting any smaller because I keep going to the store. But my room is slowly coming together. Although that probably looked really scary right there. But promise it's getting better. Let me know. Um... What you guys think? The last couple days I've had some really good thrifting. Um, first of all, I'm just gonna show you it in the corner because it's safe away from my daughter and dog. Speak of the devil. Um, that's a Coleman camping uh, lantern from the 1970s. It sells for like one to $200. I'll pop comps up here. I got it for $5. I'm back again. <laughs> So as soon as I signed off, I realized I didn't talk about this guy. So at the beginning of the video, I told you guys it sells for one to $200. That guy just sold overnight for $520 profit. So definitely a bolo, definitely pick it up. Definitely look for the yellow ones. If you have one in your family's attic that nobody cares about, sell it, stay cool. I also grabbed at that same sale, this camping stove which sells for about $50 and I got that for two. I also grabbed this guy. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about him once I figure out if he was worth it or not. Um, he's got, he's a quilting capri sewing machine, quilting machine, I don't know. Um, other models from that company are going for like thousands of dollars, but I can't find that exact model. So I need to do a little bit more research. I also grabbed a few pairs of shoes. These ones are brand new, so they should sell for about $100. Did pay up $10 for them. And then grabbed some Clemson Crocs, which should sell for about $50 to $60. Got them for $5.99. And then the find of the day, I wasn't even gonna go to Goodwill, but I had to pee and I was passing one. So of course, that's what I had to do, right? And I found these. Can you say bye? Bye, Tegan. Can you say bye? Bye, Tegan. Bye. Bye.